Hey everybody, thank you guys for clicking on this video. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing some products that were sent to me from the uh, UK. And um, we're, and they're also a United States brand as well. And uh, Wendy, all the way from the UK, found me on Facebook and of course here on YouTube and decided to send me some products so that way I can make you guys a video and tell you guys all about these amazing products and what they're all about. But, however, she had sent me a little video um, telling me and you guys a little bit about what the company is about and what they do um, and what's going on with that entire thing. And I was just so happy that she sent a video talking about everything that was going on. So uh, without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Wendy. Hi everyone, it's Wendy from Trend with Wend and I've sent Heavenly some products from our Unique range. I'm a presenter with Unique and Heavenly's asked me to just put a few sentences together to explain about the company and what we do, what we offer, and a little bit about our range. I'll be as quick as possible so that Heavenly can um, create a fantastic demo of the products and do what she does best. I discovered Heavenly on the YouTube channels because she's just so amazing at putting her little makeup tutorials together. She's very different from a lot of people and she doesn't stand any messing she stands up for what she believes in she's very different she doesn't um doesn't take any bullying off anybody is straightforward and real with people and i absolutely admire that about her i would like to think that i've been like that as well throughout my life so it's fantastic that we've linked up I've sent her um, these products so that she can try them and feel the quality and share that with you. To tell you a little bit about Unique, it's actually an American company, but it's available in many countries around the world. It started off in the US and Canada, came over to the UK, we're the second biggest market in the world. It's reached out to Australia, New Zealand, Germany, France, Spain, Mexico. We're about to launch into Hong Kong, so if you know anybody in Hong Kong, please do put them in touch with us. And um, it will launch into Italy in the new year as well. I think I've remembered all the companies there. So everywhere in those countries it's available from a presenter like me, someone who's given the opportunity to run a business from home, be there for maybe members of the family that need us. In my case, my dad's got vascular dementia, so I can be there with him for his hospital appointments or whenever he needs me, and I won't have a boss telling me not that I can't be with him when he finally, um, chooses to move on from this place on earth which I don't like to think about clearly but one day we will get to that moment so many people come to join Unique some just to get the discount the commission use it as a discount on amazing products other people come to Unique to build fantastic teams around the world. If you've heard of the cosmetic company Avon, which has been around for years, it's a similar sort of system. So you can build teams of people and help them, uplift them, empower them, show them um, how they can work from home and help other women. It's amazing. There are two causes that are also attached to the company. Our founder, Melanie Huscroft, she was, um, she is a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. She's, she's created the Unique Foundation along with her sister-in-law, Shalane, and proceeds from the purchase of products goes towards funding the Unique Foundation offering retreat for survivors of childhood sexual abuse empowering them and letting them let go of the pain that's often locked inside for years so they can move on with their lives and because it's been so successful the company has grown so much in recent years it's been around for three and a half years now nearly four years actually then um, they've also now created defend innocence which is a brand new campaign to raise awareness with children um, of sexual abuse so that they can avoid it. It's about raising awareness so that they're able to um, 
avoid that situation and also to educate everyone associated with children how they can um, be there and help the children to understand that. So it's phenomenal. We've just recently had our annual convention and it blew me away because the founders are so that their messages are so heartfelt and that passes on through all the presenters. We've got 500,000 presenters so far worldwide and we're always reaching out to new people to be able to empower you to do the same. So that's about the company and now I'll let Heavenly do what she knows best. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get this tutorial started because girl you've got me completely speechless with those kind words coming from you yes I do not stand for bullying at all anyways ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and start this video hi everybody say hi this is Lucy say hi 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 you want to say hi no no Anyways, hi guys, this week I'm going to be doing something obviously very unique. Um, I got some products from a lovely lady. Why is there smoke? Mom, you're blowing smoke in my face! <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be making uh, this video on the behalf of her. Which, so I'm going to be doing some review of some products today. So first things first, I'm going to start off with the lovely primer that was sent to me by her. And um, yes. Okay, so this lovely box, look at this packaging. Packaging is everything. This is incredible. And the bottles themselves are even, they're, they're even as best. Um, and this one is glorious. And it is face and eye makeup primer. And it comes in this lovely little bottle. And of course there is writing on it. You just can't see it because my lights are like blaring it out. And it's like in silverish black writing. So, um, and of course the tip is like this, wonderful like plastic um almost it kind of gives me this like idea of like crystal type thing which is what I love about it because it's so like gaudy in a way and so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with just a little bit of this and it actually it doesn't smell that bad either so I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of this and um it's like a really clear like gel like have you ever had like um I don't want to say it's like hair gel because that's like really really bad but like um it's kind of like gel so it's not um it's not like really really like thick or like a really it's not like a colored um primer so like it's not going to um change the color of your foundation in any shape or form it's very smooth um it's very like buttery smooth but it's not like rubbing butter on your face like i said in my dollar tree store challenge um, just to let you know, this right here video is not sponsored at all. I'm not making anything off of this video. However, her link is down in the description. So if you would like to check any of these products out that I am reviewing for you guys, you guys can. And I will be doing a product review of all of these products in greater detail after a few hours of wear. Okay, so next up we're going to start with our foundation. And the foundation that was sent to me by uh, Unique um it comes of course in this lovely packaging again and i absolutely love it and i don't know if you guys can see their little design but it reminds me of like a tattoo design um i'll like insert like a picture so that way you guys can take and see the design it is absolutely adorable and i really really love the design now the foundation bottle however um i really really do like because it's like a frosted glass it's a frosted glass um foundation bottle and it's a dripper. It's a dripping top. And it's not, the foundation isn't really that thick. Um, it's more like a medium to full coverage foundation. And um, she was also so kind to take and send me a brush too as well. Um, my mom is the one that I'm handing stuff to. Say hi, mom. Hello. <laughs> um, since I know that you guys love my mom so much. And I have been discussing with her about doing a makeup challenge. And um, I thought about doing like, my mom does my makeup tag. However, um, we kind of came up with this idea. My mom is a fabulous cook and makes a lot of really good stuff. And I was wondering, how would you guys feel about a Tasty Thursdays? And if you guys like the idea of a Tasty Thursdays, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and say Tasty Thursdays 100%. And if there's more than 100 comments, 
we will film 10 episodes of all different kinds of foods, desserts, dinners, and lunches. And they will be posted every single Thursday at noon Oklahoma time. So back to the foundation. Um, so anyways, so um, I'm going to take this her foundation and it's got this and it's like, a, it's it's a very, like, of course you could see that and everything. And I don't mind that at all. And everything, like, this is new to me. And this brush, this brush right here is absolutely adorable. And it is really, really soft. And it has this, um, in, it has like this indention in the middle of the brush where you could put the foundation and put it on and spread it more evenly. As you guys know, I love to use a beauty blender, but um, this time around, I'm not using a beauty blender except for my um, Kat Von D um, concealer. So I'm gonna get my hand mirror and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this. And this is my first time applying this. So this right here will be a first impressions. So I'm just gonna like disperse it real quick and then I'm going to start working it into the skin. So, I am actually really impressed, to be honest with you. Um, this brush, I, like, it took me way less time to put on my foundation using this brush than it usually does with a full-size beauty blender. Um, I am really, really, really impressed with that. And the foundation, <clears throat> the smell of this foundation is so nice. It's very fragrant. Um, it smells like lavender like it has a lavender scent to it and I really 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 like that and um, I'm definitely going to be using this later on in the future and I'm gonna have to let my mom use a little bit of it because she's over here like I want to use it I want to use it so I'm definitely gonna have to let my mom use just a little bit of this later on in the future okay so I'm going to take and move on to a product that um, was not sent to me by unique um, but I'm going to conceal my t-zone area if you don't know what a t-zone is um, on a woman a t-zone and for men as well it's forehead nose upper lip chin and cheek and cheek uh, the upper lip is kind of like a choice. You can kind of do that if you want to or not. But I'm going to use my Kat Von D in shade Natural um, in her concealer, which is, this is her newest one. And I know it looks white, but it actually has a, a little bit less of like a skin tone. And I'm going to use this to conceal underneath my eyes. And of course, I'm going to use a Beauty Blender as well to uh, buff that out. As you guys noticed, I didn't put a whole lot on because a little bit goes a long ways. Okay, so now that I have my Kat Von D uh, blended out and I look like a white ghost in these areas, um, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with a little bit of powder. So I'm going to use some of my airspun from a drugstore, uh, from Walmart, Walgreens, uh, wherever you can find it. And it's about like 10 to $11. And I'm going to take my big fluffy kabuki brush. And I'm going to dab just a little bit in there, get some of the excess off. You need to just, you know, brush it off to the side. And I'm just going to start running that all over my face.
So after powdering your face and setting um, the foundation and of course everything else that we've already done to our face, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick off camera. And if you want an eyebrow tutorial later on in the future, please comment down below and let me know. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are on, I am getting ready to take and start doing some contour on my eyes and stuff. So I'm going to jump in with my MAC palette and I'm going to start in with this lovely shade right here and I'm going to start working on the crease of my eye and then we're going to move on to the pigment that Unique has sent me. So I'm going to grab my nice little brush and I'm going to run right there into, um, so that way you guys can take it and see it. Um, I'm going to run right here into this lovely shade right here and I have a product review coming out on this here pretty soon, so that way you guys can um, get further detail into how I feel about this palette. So I'm going to start right here at the outer edge of my crease and I'm going to work my way up into my brow area and I'm going to use a little bit more pressure in the crease and then lighter pressure towards the brow bone to blend out. Do you guys notice I'm no longer looking over there? It's because my viewfinder is here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was like an easy fix. Now, take just a little bit and go underneath the eye, just a little bit to smoke that out. And then, of course, go ahead and do your other eye. Okay, so now that you have both of your eyes smoked out towards the crease, let's go ahead and move on to the pigment. And these are your pigments came in a small little square box. And the box is absolutely adorable. And I do believe my mother has one of those boxes. Um, if you have ever shopped at... Uh, MAC Cosmetics and you get one of their like, you know, eyeshadows or eyeliner or something like that, you usually get like a tiny little box like this. And this right here is a pigment eyeshadow and of course there's the lovely logo and everything. Once again, I'm going to have to put a, like a picture over here to show you guys the logo. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with this and I actually got three different pigments and the pigment that I'm gonna go with is actually this beautiful iridescent purple um, you guys have seen uh, for those that are on snapchat if you are on snapchat then put snapchat down below so that way I know who's on my snapchat or with a ghost emoji so that way I know who's on my snapchat so we're gonna go ahead and open up this lovely iridescent um, it's very pigmented especially whenever you put it on top of like a primer and stuff so that's what I'm definitely excited to take and see so I'm going to clean off my eyeshadow brush real quick and then get to starting on that so going in with a flat synthetic brush I am going to dab into the pigment and start working that onto the lid of my eye and then of course with a fluffy brush I'm going to blend that out towards the crease so of course looking down so that way you don't get fallout because um, as we all know fallout can ruin a look if we're not careful. And then once again using that technique that I uh, was telling you guys in the Dollar Tree video make sure that you press down with the back end of the brush and then press forward to get it closer to the inner corner of the eye on the top lid. And then of course, go ahead and do your other eye lid. Of course, so now that we have our purple pigment on, which this has so much pigment, and honestly, I really like it. It doesn't feel like heavy or really like, um, it, it has like a real nice purple color to it. It's like a real true purple. And then of course, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out that edge, that way it's not so harsh. Okay, so now we're going to do just a little bit of eyeliner. So um, I'm going to use my Black Track Eyeliner from MAC Cosmetics. Um, it's like one of my favorite eyeliners, and I recently just went and got a brand new one. So taking a flat angled brush, um, I'm going to run that into the Black Track Eyeliner and go ahead and start lining the top lid. 
you you have the choice of doing a wing if you want to or not. Um, but I will say this: a good tip for doing top liner is small, steady strokes. Um, and then once you're really good at it, you can just kind of like go in and do what you need to do. Okay, so now that we have a nice, like, really high winged liner on, we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so now that both eyes are winged, if you don't get them perfect, don't worry. Nobody's perfect, and that's the point of makeup. It is meant to be fun. It is a art. Okay, so I've already done my mascara, top and bottom lashes, with my CoverGirls Star Wars Edition, um mascara and on the back it says nothing will stand in our way and if you don't know what that is it's from the dark side so yeah um such a nerd anyways so i'm gonna go in with my kat von d um contouring palette the shade and light contouring palette i also have a review coming out on this here pretty soon um so i'm going to go in with this lovely shade down here at the very bottom and i'm going to work my way up from the shades ever so lightly so starting at the top part right up here and working downwards using the side of the brush make sure you get rid of some of your fallout and just start contouring downwards towards your um, corner of your lips because whenever you move your mouth that's where your line is right there so I'm going to build in my cheekbone and my contour and add definition to that and then also working on the temples starting from the hairline on up towards the top part of the hairline this right here gives the illusion of a smaller more rounded uh, forehead um, it's part of the feminine features it also uh, enhances the highlighting that you had done on your t-zone as well I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person out there that sucks at doing opposites okay so moving up to the next shade from the bottom shade which is the one right in the very middle so this one is a little bit darker so I'm going to use this one a little bit up here not so much down there just use a little bit of it and just kind of and then just kind of like blend it out from there So after you're done putting on the second shade, we're gonna move up to the darkest shade. And this right here, to some people, might scare some people, but for me, I like to enhance my features a lot and um, give it a little bit of dramaticness. So I'm gonna go up to this really, really dark brown shade. Um, it's actually one of my favorites for drag, which if you, of course, is on my Snapchat, you probably seen that and everything. So I'm going to use just a little bit because you can see how dark that is. Um, so I'm going to use just a little bit of that, knock some of the fallout off, and just tap it right there, brush off the rest of the fallout, and just blend that in. And that right there will hollow out the base of your cheekbone, enhancing that feature. Make sure you blend that in circular motions up and down. And then I don't use any of this on the temple because it can make the face look a little dirty if, if you're if you're not careful. Okay, so after using that, we're going to grab our nice little fluffy brush that we use to do our eyes with to do our nose contour. And I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade from the Kat Von D palette. The lightest shade, just a couple of taps, not a whole lot, just a couple of taps on the actual pan. And then I'm just going to start from right up here, closest to my brow, and work my way down onto my nose just to enhance the nose features there's a, so much stuff that you could do with makeup like whenever I do drag I like to make my nose look really really small um, like Michael Jackson small um, because in drag that's just what I like to do okay so now that we're done contouring the nose with our Kat Von D light and shade palette 
um, we are going to move on to the lips and this right here is more products from the unique brand and I'm going to start out with the lovely lovely lip liner that they had given and that she had given me and I am so excited to get into this and it is a very nice um, purplish red tone and it is like butter um, it is like one of the best pencils that I have ever used and I usually don't use lip pencils at all whenever I do my lips but um, today's just one of those days okay so now that we have our lips lined some of you may ask why don't I do like my cupid's bow um, and I just round out my lips it's because I want to enhance my lips and bring them up higher um, closer to my nose because women's features um, the lip is actually the top lip is closer to the nose the bridge of the nose then um, men's lips are actually lower from the bridge of the nose so I lift that up plus I like a full round lip um, if you've ever seen Cher that's what I love um, so okay I'm going to move on to the next part that Wish had given me and I absolutely that um, Unique has given me I'm so sorry and um, this packaging is absolutely adorable and it kind of reminds me of the foundation packaging because it has a frost on here and then it has a gloss band around the around the sides and then ooh that was upside down and then it has this design from the original packaging design all around and then this beautiful like it is so glittery and it is very pigmented um, and it is like a nice rich red So as you guys can tell, this lipstick is so, so glossy and it has a lot of um, iridescent pigment in it that has like a lot of glitters and stuff. So it is very, very glamorous. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move over to doing false lashes. And since you guys have already seen me do false lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Um, if you wanna know how to do that, just go ahead and skip over to one of my other makeup tutorials and you'll see it in there as well. Okay, everybody, now that I have my lashes on, so here is the finished look using nothing but some of the unique products and, of course, some other products of my own from Matt Cosmetics and others. However, um, I want to give a big special thank you to Wendy from the UK for sending me these products and uh, thinking of me and having me take and do this review. Um, it, it, it means so much um, that you would take and have me take and do this for you um, and bring this to my subscribers. So to my subscribers, I hope that you guys enjoyed um, this makeup tutorial and this right here review and stuff. I will be doing a product review here in a little bit um, on these products after wearing them for a couple of hours so that way you guys can see um, how they wear and stuff. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, I'm not really noticing any creasing. My skin is not irritated at all. Um, and it feels very light. Um, I'm not used to a lipstick that's very like uh, glossy. I'm used to like matte lipsticks. Like you guys know that I wear a lot of matte lipsticks. So with this, it's it's very new, but I'm getting used to it because I used to wear lipsticks like this back in the day anyways. But anyways, I love you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye.